here. I'm going to show you today how to make sleep jellies. These are perfect for parents of three, four, five, six year olds that just have every excuse in the book to be getting out of bed. I need a drink of water. Uh, I have a sore toe. Um, I need another cuddle. You know, they just keep going in and out and won't settle. These are the perfect remedy to that. These are the go the to sleep jellies. So these jellies, they don't consist of anything fancy. These are just ingredients that you can pick up from your local supermarket. We have the Healthery's uh, sleep tea with black currant, some gelatine, some New Zealand honey, local honey, and some Harker's light black currant syrup. Before we begin, I just want to explain a little bit more about what you could be doing in the way of diet that could be helping towards getting them to sleep naturally. So in my house, we don't really eat sugar after 3 p.m. So they come home from school, they can have a treat, that's it. We don't have desserts um, after dinner, unless of course it's a special occasion. But you know, general weeknight, there is no sugar after dinner. Um, we are also having protein rich food at dinner time which is you know making your digestion work harder so you, your blood goes down there and then you naturally get more tired as you digest in your meal um also bananas are so good before bed at helping give you a good night's sleep so that's another thing that they could have after dinner which is a bit of a treat it's still got a bit of sugar in it but is a really good healthy treat to be helping your kids sleep. So yeah, no ice cream. Okay, so I have put four Healthery's sleep tea bags in here. And yes, well, because I want to concentrate, they're only going to have a little small square of jelly. Uh, these tea bags consist of chamomile, passion flower, lemon balm and lavender. So I chucked in a tablespoon of honey and now I'm going to fill it up to one and a half cups of hot water, boiling hot water and let it steep for a good 5-10 minutes. Okay, so now it has been steeping for a good 5-10 minutes. Um, I'm going to give these, I've swished these tea bags around in here like this for a while too, like I really want to get all that goodness out of these, but I'm actually going to squeeze the shit out of them. Every last little drop. Okay, so now we've, it's all squeezed, we're going to add six tablespoons, gently sprinkled on top of the um, gelatine. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And mix it in really well till it's all dissolved, which takes a little bit of time. So I'm um, now it's all dissolved, I'm just going to add a splash of this Harkis syrup. This is purely just for more flavour, like a fruity flavour, to make it more appealing to little kids. Um, and then I'm going to pour it. So I have lined my tray with uh, baking paper. And um, I'm just going to tip it in there. This is going to sit in the fridge for the next hour and then uh, we can chop it up. And they're done. That was so fast. Just going to pull it onto my board. And get busy chopping it into squares.